that one bullshit PlayStation trophy. Monkey King A Hero Is Back is based on the film of the same name that is an animated version of the Journey to the West story. Now, unfortunately, the movie has never actually found a release in the UK, so this game's kind of flown under everyone's radar. But for those who have played it, you'll probably find that it's a fairly enjoyable um, God of War-like beat-em-up adventure game. Though, there is an annoying kid, and if you can get past his annoying voice actor, you might find some fun here. However, the martial arts master trophy in this game is absolute bullshit, as it requires you to cause all one-on-ones. But what exactly is a one-on-one, -on -one, as this trophy is really vague? So, a one-on-one -on -one actually occurs during the combat. So when you're fighting the enemies, you punch them to beat them up, which sounds fairly simple. And if you manage to punch an enemy at the same time they're about to hit you, you trigger this quick time sort of one-on-one -on -one event where you mass square and you will see this sort of animation play out as the Monkey King takes out the enemy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a one-on-one. -on -one. But how exactly do you cause all one-on-ones? So, as you're playing through the game, I'm purposely trying to trigger this little event on almost every enemy that I come across. And I notice that sometimes a different beat em up animation plays. However, you can't actually do it on all the enemies, especially some of these bigger ones with swords, or maybe these large stone creatures, as it just never triggers one, so you never get the chance to initiate these on these larger enemies. Also, the big fuck off bosses like this giant ass dragon, who I couldn't do a one on one with because. If you're anything like me, when you kill this thing, you're probably far away throwing things at it. So what exactly do you do one-on-ones on and against? And that's the question you'll have when you go for this trophy, because it's so fucking vague. And from playing it, I was under the impression that you could only really do it on these smaller goblin creatures, as it was the only time when punching an enemy as they hit me, it would actually trigger it. So you're kind of fucked because you're fucked really if you think the game's going to tell you and really this trophy should have come with some more instructions because just saying cause all one on ones on the trophy description doesn't really help you. There's no in game tracker, there's nothing to tell you what you can do it on. I want to know what enemies I can do it on, what ones I can't and if there are any missable enemies throughout the game because then I can be sure to keep an eye out and try and trigger this but no, the game does not tell you anything about this other than that vague little description and that's what really makes this trophy bullshit what what the fuck especially when you consider there's another button you can press to initiate a sort of one-on-one -on -one, but it's called a purge and that one has its own trophy attached to it so i carried on with the game and tried to do as many as i could and i eventually got to the final boss and i absolutely kicked the shit out of him Slamming him with my jumping, jump down, kick move, and he just was no match for it. And it wasn't long before he flew up into the sky. So I gave chase, climbing up the building to catch up with him, only to find that when I got there, he flew back down to the fucking bottom. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. So I went back down to get him, and then I wailed on him some more. And kicked his ass and then what well, do I don't know he flew back up to the very top so I ran back to the jumping spot and jumped up towards him again and this time he flew right to the top of this building so I gave chase climbing up and then climbing up again until I finally got to the top and he then come in close and I was able to hit him and it's at this point where I realized that the final boss actually has a one-on-one -on -one that you can trigger and you get about two seconds to get this otherwise you miss it so I'm desperately spamming square to take him out and make sure I don't fuck up this one-on-one -on -one. and I slam him down and I think yes I've got him so that trophy's gotta be coming now right because this is the last enemy I'm facing surely and what do you know the trophy doesn't pop what the fuck So at this point I was really frustrated as this was a trophy that I was deliberately trying to go through 
throughout my entire playthrough. And I've now just got to the final boss and completely kicked his ass. And now he's going to do his Hans Gruber impression from Die Hard as he falls off the edge. I mean, just look at it. This is pretty much a one-to-one -one shot for me. So, as he falls off, it's then game over. And I won't spoil the ending, but this is pretty much the end of the game. And to my frustrations, the game just finishes and you can't actually carry on in like a end game sort of bit. Instead, you just put back to the title screen and it lets you do a continue option. So maybe this was just me and I missed one, but I decided to look online just to see if there was any more information. And it was there where I realized that this was actually a glitch trophy, which is just typical. So, after pressing continue, it then loads me back to just before the final boss, and it's here where the trophy becomes really bullshit. And after looking online, I could see that a lot of people were having trouble with this trophy, just not unlocking, even though they had done all of the one-on-ones that they think the game has. So, now I'm at a stage where I think the best option is to go to this tri-star area, because this is a sort of wave of enemies sort of challenge as you go through each floor of this area and I know there's a lot of these goblin enemies here so I decide to go back here and try and get as many one-on-ones throughout this section as possible so cue the montage of epic one-on-ones here we go I try and do one-on-ones and it's here where I notice that there are different types of ones that you can do there are one-on-ones two on twos, three on threes, and then different variations with certain enemies, and he eventually does different animations. So I'm trying to get all of these done in the hope that I might get the trophy. But then I realize when going for this, I'm never actually gonna see if the trophy pops at this stage because of how the game works with the end game. In fact, there's no end game. So it's put me back to just before the boss fight, so technically, I still haven't got all the one-on-ones, even if I unlock one that I didn't have here, which is probably the three-on-three -three one you see now, because that's a rare one, I think. So yeah, you're always in a position where you actually haven't got them all, because you still need to go and do the final boss to get that very last one, and that's what makes this really bullshit, because I could be in this room for ages, trying to do loads of different ones, not realising that the last one is now, technically, the final boss one, even though I've already done that. I'll get you, bitch. And it's just, it's a really dumb trophy, purely because it's just not explained. If there was an in-game stat for it, and it explained, like, what you have to do, one-on-ones with the goblins, or the trophy was, description was just better, you know, cause all the one-on-ones against the goblin enemies, or, you know, cause all one-on-one, -on -one, two on two, and three on three one-on-ones with the enemies, you know. Then it, you could have had a bit more information going into it so you know what to do. And the fact that the final boss has one just makes it bullshit as well because it's just, it makes you think, well, maybe all the other bosses had one. You know, why does this final one have it? I think it's just, it's just garbage. It's absolutely garbage. And eventually I went back to the boss and I kicked his ass again in the vain hope that this trophy would pop and it actually did this time and it does for a lot of people but there are some unfortunate ones out there where it still won't pop even if they do those trials and then fight the boss again so the trophy doors seem to be glitched because I should have got this on my first attempt I shouldn't have had to do this again because I'm pretty sure I still got all the other ones throughout the game and that's what makes this trophy bullshit the fact that it's really glitchy and the fact that it's very vague in its description and how you can do it. And the fact that it's only a couple of enemies that can do it and then just randomly the final boss. And that's why the Martial Arts Mastery Trophy... Bullshit. 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 You say it's all bullshit. Bullshit. Shit. 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 Sh